Hello. We're on. We're on. We're on. We're Sorry, live. I was late to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody, and uh, welcome to the Wolf Cast. And uh, in the uh, Wolf Den here at ninety two point one, the Wolf in Syracuse. You like that, huh? The Wolf yeah, Den. Yeah, the Wolf yeah, Den. I like it's it. The Wolf Den. My name is Skip Clark, the host of the Skip Happens Podcast and the Wolf Cast. And uh, we got some great, uh, a very special guest uh, in the Wolf Den. We have Sweet Tea Trio, Ooh. ladies. How are you? We're great. Thank great. you so much. We for just having. ate some yummy pizza Hi. thanks to you, mm -hmm. and it was it was very, very good. good. We're very happy now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see the smiles on the face. Oh, yes, because <laughs> glowing. <laughs> I got the note that you guys were actually going to be a little bit late coming in because you were in a oh. snowstorm. It's like blizzard in here. <laughs> it's not blizzard. It is. Blurry. This is blizzard for us. Okay. <laughs> now, why would you say that? Because you're from where? Alabama. We don't really get that much snow. Like we get a tiny bit of it, but it's like we we stop everything. A Life winter weather advisory in Alabama just means like ice on maybe on the road or some frost. Yeah. Could and then we found okay. out a winter weather advisory here meant not the same thing. <laughs> a lot of snow, not the same thing. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, get some formal introductions. All right. Go first. I am Victoria Camp. I'm from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I am one third. I am Kate Falcon. I'm from Gadsden, Alabama, Alabama, which is like the northern half of the state. Wow. Yep. I'm Charity Bowden, and I'm from Hope Hull, Alabama, which is like South Alabama. And your mom's producing this. Yeah, yes. my mother is producing the show today. And she said, I don't want to be on the podcast. So I said, I got a job for you. <laughs> and she sat right down there, and I said, all you do is hit this button. She goes, I can do that. So. She's killing all the jobs this week. So uh, they, well, you, you're all living in Nashville now, or are you just, right? You, whereabouts in Nashville do you live? Are you like in Franklin or? So I'm in like Bellevue area. So like west okay. of Nashville. Mm -hmm. And then we're in White's Creek. So that's north. north. I was going to say, where's White's? Now that's what I haven't heard of. Yeah, it's, it's right. Creek. It's actually near the Opry. So oh, okay. we live yes. probably okay. about 10, 10 minutes, minutes from, from the actual the Opry. Opry house. Yeah. Oh, wow. How cool do you, do you actually get to the Opry? Sometimes for Mills Mall. Yeah, we go to the mall a lot. <laughs> we'll be hitting up the mall, but not the Opry specifically. Um, wish we could go more. It's but pretty awesome mall. It's pretty though. awesome. We hope yeah. to play there one day. So yeah. you know, the goal. It'd be yeah. really cool if we play there and y'all live ten minutes away. Well, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> we could walk to after work. After party Literally. at our house. <laughs> an after party. Yes. Absolutely. If that happens, I want an invite. Of course, we'll, we'll, okay. we'll make this happen. So. 100%. Wow, that's cool. So yeah, that's a, that's obviously a dream of yours. But you, the, the group has been around for a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And you went through a, maybe a couple of changes or maybe one change. Yeah. And uh, can somebody tell me a little bit about that and yeah. how all that happened? So we've been a band for about nine years. We always joke because we say Nashville is a 10 year town and we're on year nine. So we're coming up on 10. It's girl. So we're it's hoping the, it's happening. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've been a band for nine years when the band started originally started with me. In Victoria, um, we were very young when we met. I was 15 when I met her. She was 13. Which the story all ties together in a beautiful way. So we met through a vocal coach in Birmingham, Victoria. Oh, okay. And okay. And um, we're taking voice lessons from him. Started the band, Sweet Tea Trio. And then we had a member change about six years in. And then Charity so beautifully joined the band. And ironically enough. I also that, came from that vocal she coach. She came from that vocal coach. <laughs> so and we were friends you long know, before, way before. Way before. Long time. That. Yeah. Fateful day where we called her up and was just like, hey, like, mm -hmm. I know you got your own thing going on. But, like, we have like, a really important question. And it's okay if you say no. But, like, will you please be in our group? And she I will like, never um, forget. Yeah. I yeah. thought Kate was calling to tell me that she. She was like getting married or something <laughs> <laughs> this was like two years oh, ago yeah. so that would have been a little early but like i figured she was calling to tell me that or some new drama or something she's like so um victoria and i have talked and <laughs> we would really be interested in maybe you possibly eventually considering being in the band and i was like Huh? Huh? Talk <laughs> I remember being like, like, what? Every single time. This is we, not where I thought this phone call was going. Right. <laughs> Every single time we had a girl pop up, we were just like, but charity. Yeah, but charity. But, but y'all also, I don't know if y'all even remember this. So I had released a music video in October mm -hmm. a for a song. Really? But yes. Okay. And I did. I've solo artist before. Okay. And so I was doing that when they sent me this text. It was a really weird group text. Ominous. With almost. the two of y'all. And it was like, <laughs> hey, oh my gosh, we love your new song or your video or something. We would really love to go get lunch with you one day and talk about business. Mm -hmm. And I was like, 
why would they want to do that? <laughs> and then after I texted them back, I didn't hear from them for about three more months. Uh -huh. <laughs> really? I, you, you ghosted kept her me waiting hard. three months? Well, I, I, here's the thing. You have to remember, it is like a process having, uh, yeah. a, a, a getting a new member in the band and we really wanted, we wanted to really think about it and make sure that it was right. And so we did a lot of stalking in those three months. <laughs> I don't think that Charity no even idea. realized how no much idea, you know, right. he knew about her life. Our management team <laughs> knew about her life. Like we had so many people deep diving into everything she had going on, but it everything tied in so beautifully. Like it's ironic. Victoria and I both have heart tattoos that we got when we were. I saw those. Yeah. You know, when we were young cool. and Charity's favorite thing in the world is hearts. It's hearts. And my, I mean, my name means love and kindness. Right, I'm all right. about the heart. So right. we it's always weird thing like, meant to be. It was meant to be. It's a really weird thing. You, you don't have the heart tattoo. No, no I, I think my mother might actually <laughs> cut it off with <laughs> my body if I got it. <laughs> she would just she's be like, down, you know she what? Has, she's in the producer chair kind of yeah, like. she's laughing. She's got the look on her face. No like, more strumming yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you actually don't need that right hand. So, yeah, you don't. No, yeah. no, 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 you don't. You yeah, don't. isn't that I mean, funny? I love the tats. I love the, is that, I love tattoos. And I'm terrified of needles, so. It's different. I think it No, it's different. Anyway. I was the same way. I was the same. Way. No, no, no. I had this one. Well, I don't. You That's can't a see That's a really good tattoo. But this wow. is. I had that really done nice. through the radio station, and then I have a son with disabilities, but that's Down syndrome. What and kind of disabilities? He's a down. Uh, he's Down syndrome. Okay, so my brother, he's twenty. He's about to turn twenty-four, which is wild, huh? and he is autistic. He's nonverbal oh, and like man. sweetheart. I have a very special place in my heart for special needs kids. So that's I. Love uh, that's so this. I, you probably can't see it on the camera because yeah. of the distance, but it's the arrows mean up and onward. And Zachary Clark Motown. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, and he turns 22 this month. Oh, so. wow. They're close to the same and, age. Uh, Work me to him. Yeah, exactly. Believe me, once he sees this, he's going to go, nice. Dad, you didn't invite me? Dad? That's, that's exactly what Zach. And he, Zach was like, uh, Kelsey Ballerini was here when Flats came through a few years ago. And uh, I took Zach to the show and we were backstage in the radio room and Kelsey walked in and Zach went right down on one knee and said, will you marry me? Oh, of course he did. And, and yeah. then, and I then bet she said then yes, he had too. The little, he, he faked like he had the little, he goes, will you marry me? You know, and, oh. and then somebody got a picture of it and that picture ended up on her uh on her Twitter. Social media. So cute. You could have handed media. me a ring pop and I'd have been like, yes, honey. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. A bubble gum ring, any of it. <laughs> I'm just saying, but uh, no, he's awesome. And, uh, you know, yeah, you'll have to give. God. So we, we brought you a, uh, a little treat. We brought you a little box. You'll have to give Zach something out of the box. Okay. We're, we're going to dig into we'll that. Let you delegate into that. Dig into we'll, it now. Are you ready? No, no. Well, no, like, we'll yeah, I guess it. we, well, you want to do it now or you want to talk a little bit? Up to you. All right, let's open it. Let's all get right. It. We're going yeah. ahead and so, mystery box. This, little this, mystery is, box. this came all the way from Alabama. All the way. All the way from Alabama. And it is a taste of Alabama. So there's a, a CD here that says Sweet Tea Trio. Do you guys know these? Yeah. yeah. The girl, I don't know what's up with this chick right here. <laughs> it's her. Her hair's like yeah. white. I don't know what's going on. but yeah. It's her. She's talking about herself. Yeah. about myself. It's a joke. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Our, it wasn't a funny joke. I know. Oh, apparently, like, I almost <laughs> fell out of the chair laughing. But um, <clears throat> no, that's awesome. So you know these girls. That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, they're pretty you know good. I hear. Girls. I hear they're really they're good. Okay. Thank you. I, yeah, I hear they're really good. good. All right. So we have some Alabama peanuts. Mm -hmm. yep. Peanut industry is huge in South Alabama. Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, I bet. I bet. Hmm. Okay. Peanuts. Hope you're not allergic. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Hope you're not allergic and to salted nuts. Roasted peanuts. and salted. Now, do you put peanuts in Coke? I. I have never put peanuts in Coke. Oh. That's Somebody thing. asked us that not too long ago. It's a it's a Southern thing. Really? I personally don't do it. I think it makes it weird. But a lot of people in the South put peanuts in their Coke. It's not it's not bad. I actually I don't drink soft drinks, but I okay. feel like that would be a good combo. It's not it's bad. Like it would be a good is, it, is it the salty. salt from the yes, peanuts? Yes, it's the salt with all the sugar in the Coke. It keeps mm -hmm. a consistent like fizz too. So it's mm. like okay. it's kind of like putting like do you know Topo Chico? Okay, it's like a oh, so good stuff. So good, but you put a lime in Topo Chico and it constantly fizzes. It's the same exact okay. thing when you put the peanuts in the Coke. It's just oh. a salty, sweet mm. taste. It's really good. Really? It's not okay. Good. All right, I'll we have brought to check you some peanuts out. for it. All Hat, No Kettle. There's a song that's out by yeah. this name, by the way. Yeah. I don't know if you girls have heard it. Fun fact. All Hat, No Kettle. Yeah. yeah it's a pretty good tune. It is. I just, if you haven't I heard agree. it, we'll have we to love play that it later. Tune. As a matter of fact, I'll dig it up, and after this podcast, I'll make sure it comes up right yeah. after. So whoever. Uh, ooh, ooh, okay, oh, so oh, oh, oh. I where I'm from is like 
there's a lot of pecan orchards are where I'm from. There's probably like there's probably like six different pecan companies just in my hometown. This is our favorite one. You say pecan or pecan? Pecan. 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 What is do that you like say? with a pie? Yes. It'd be pecan like pie. pecan. Well, what do you call pecan. It? He can. No, that's something you keep under the bed, honey. You said pe- uh, pecan. pecan. You say pecan. pecan. How do you say it? He says pecan. I thought pecan. you said pecan. Pe- pecan. Yes, pecan. because. Not pecan, but pecan. <laughs> Right? I might have said that. Yeah, pecan. He did say pecan at some point. Naturally, pecan. that's just how it like, came out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the listeners need to tune in. Is it pecan or pecan? Yes, yeah. or pecan. You know, that's that's one of let those us arguments know that happens every year around Thanksgiving oh, when yeah. we start it, talking yeah. about it. Huge argument, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. But, but either way, that's it's delicious. That. You're oh, my God. Our... Milk chocolate. Look at that. I feel like a turtle. They're um they're actually right out of Hope Hall is where all of this is made, which is where really? I'm from. Yeah. And so um, do they the, sponsor you? Well, they, they kind of did to. for this. Yeah. Video, yeah. Okay. Did. All right. All right. That's so, it. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Yes. This episode they better. You You're a hometown Absolutely. girl. Absolutely. Sweet girl in Alabama. Yes. I love it. I love it. Maybe they'll sponsor you getting that tattoo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, well, look at this package. This is like a care package. Yeah. This is a sweet tea kit oh. that we made. And it actually is my mama's recipe. Really? So in the back, there's a okay. recipe okay. card. All right. There's a card in the back. back. Here. Okay. We have a song out that we wrote about our mamas. It's called Love Mama. It's oh. on the EP. It's on the EP. Okay. So this is our Love Mama, Mama's Homestyle Sweet oh. Tea. And we gave you a whole kit. So all you have to do is just provide the sugar. That's all you the need. Water, but yeah. And the jug. Other than that, you're good to go. Clever. Very, very clear Clever. instructions. Thank you. We have honey stick in there and some lemon if you want to get fancy. But yeah, I'm not about that. It, but like just, it. You know, my wife, if my wife Nancy's watching this, she's going to, you better bring that home to me. Yeah, I need she it. Looks, yeah I'm her. just saying. Nancy. I'm just saying. We got right. your back, girl. <laughs> and this is, I think this is my favorite. Mm, so it smells so good. Flip it over. It's seasoning packets. What? Yes. Yeah. So there's four different kinds of seasoning. It's from a company called Southern Flavor. Mm-hmm. Like there, it. yes, it smells incredible. It's so good. So there's oh a wild God. game one. There's a garlic one. There's a Cajun one, and there's a charcoal seasoning. <gasps> mm-hmm. They smell. And so it will good. smell your whole car up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've been traveling. And you can with order them all of these. Yeah, but it's not so a good. Good. smell. I'm oh, saying it it's not one delicious. of those. You know, if you're on the road as much as you are, hitting up all these radio and stations, the garlic it makes one, us hungry. Is what it, it does. does. Yes, the garlic one is so universal. Like and that I love card garlic also garlic. has a recipe on it. Yep. Or like I think it's for their hamburgers or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bossies, bossy, bossies. There you go. Bossies, yeah. burgers. They burgers. They ended up on uh, Fox News, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Whatever. Fox News burgers. firing yeah. up the grill for bossies burgers. Yes. Yeah. It's seen on Fox and Friends, cooking with friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Visit Southern flavored seasonings on Facebook and Instagram. You have it's radio right voice. voice. Uh, there it is. <laughs> this is the grass. Yep, that's oh, some grass. Oh, right here. Oh, oh, oh look at yeah. that. Look at, look at the you give that to Zachary. It's a little nugget. And we have yeah. a card on the bottom. That you it's a little yeah. difficult to get, to get it out. But it's okay. It's okay. We can just flop her over and not watch it come out. It's the same picture. It's <laughs> okay. fine. All you got to do is take your phone out, though. Yeah, the QR code. Yeah, yeah we love a QR code. You know, I don't know who's who's doing your marketing. Is that you guys do it? That's yeah. very really clever. Us. Seriously. Thank Anybody you. watching this, I mean, you, you want to promote yourself. Thank hey, you. get a hold of these girls. Yeah. Oh, thank because you. Because they know. Look at that. All these goodies. Yeah, we designed the box and everything. Yeah. In it, so mm. Glad you like it. I, I do like it. I do like it. I love it. Well, thank that you was for like the good. Very goodness. That, that was fun. I, you know, it was like it was kind of like Christmas. Open this gift. I want to watch yes. you open it, and you just hope they like it, right? Especially the snow outside. And this is a great song. You guys got to really oh, listen to this. You. All hat, no kettle. You've got to give it a listen because thank it's you. it's like it's a fun, fun song. So how cool. Well, thank you very much for all that. Uh-huh. Thank so you. let's talk a little bit more about you guys. So uh, all hat, no kettle. That's my favorite song, that, song. I know you've got it out now. Your harmonies are just unbelievable on that song. Thank it's you. upbeat. It's fun. Thank you. And uh, tell us about it. So it's actually the first song that I ever wrote with the girls. Which is wild. Uh, yeah. And it just. After we the just... three months of not talking. Yeah. About yeah. yeah. After three months of getting <laughs> ghosted. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not bitter at all. It's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it was um, the first song that we wrote. We wrote it, I think, in like. March or April, maybe it was two days before my birthday. Okay, so it was March, March then. 4th. Um, and we wrote it with a writer out of Nashville, Preston James, who also yeah. happens to be my boyfriend. And he's actually who brought the title in. He was like, I just feel like this is perfect for y'all. And Does we were tattoos? immediately like, Yes, 
Nothing no. Yet. So I'm no. just started asking. Yeah. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. I, he's he's going to get one at some point, but we okay. don't have to yes. tell mom that part. No. no. But <laughs> yeah, that's okay. the goal. Probably not knowing him, but he'll probably get like across his forehead, <laughs> like for you and. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna pull a jelly roll. But, he but, um, brought he brought the title in, and it fell out pretty fast. I think we goofed around for most of the time, mm -hmm. and then seriously, I think we probably wrote it in like an hour, an hour. or two yeah. at, at most. Yeah. Yeah. Just and it just immediately out. like we loved playing it. Like fans that came out to shows loved the song, and they're like, "Where can we get this? When can we get it?" And we showed it to Kid Rock, the producer, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, he. Loved it as well and was like, yeah, y'all should totally record that. We were like, yeah. so, all right, but it's, going for it. It's all about poking fun at, you know, somebody trying to, basically it's about pretending to be something that you're not and how yeah. nobody really has much business doing that. Like yeah. if you're not the most Western country person in the world, that's okay, but just don't pretend to be. <laughs> to be right. Yeah. It only ends up making a fool out of yourself. You know what I mean? Exactly. You try to be somebody that you're not. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's crazy. Also the same thing as like a country boy trying to be a city boy. Oh. Yeah, no, you're exactly like that'd right. That'd be more brutal. That'd be even more <laughs> brutal. <laughs> that's even more brutal. <laughs> but it's way too it would obvious. be as hot mess express as the three of us right now traveling through the snow. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Same so, thing. You want to talk about trying to be something you're not. <laughs> yeah. But you guys made it. You got mom behind the wheel. Absolutely. It was all good. Yeah. And, and when it. I looked out and saw the truck, I said, oh, they're fine. Yeah. They're fine. We Do all took realize? a deep breath in the parking lot. We did. Yeah. yeah okay. We finally landed. Oh, we made it. <laughs> well, this... And it, not to get away from the music for a second, but oh. when you're in central New York like this, we have what they call lake effect, which the wind blows across <laughs> the lakes, and that's why you get all the snow. As I mentioned before, you went out with the lights and the cameras and the microphones and all that, that uh, there are times where we will get, no exaggeration, a foot of snow. That's crazy. And the kids still get up and go to school the next day. The I've bus is at the bus stop waiting for them. Not in Alabama. But see, yeah. But yeah, I know you're from Alabama, I've never but there's seen a big a foot difference. Of snow in my life. Right, right. Well, you know hang out tomorrow morning. You're like. going to Watertown tomorrow, right? Yeah. Okay, well, you might see a foot of snow. There was, okay, right. there was one trip we took to Michigan where it was about that. Like, okay. it was piled up on the side of the road and stuff, and, like, it was a lot of snow, but... It's only like one time, so this is yeah, a yeah, new yeah, experience. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is. It is. But uh, like I said, you know, we the difference is when you're in Alabama or even in Nashville, for that matter, yeah. that they only have so many trucks. They only have so many yeah. men. They only have so many mm -hmm. items that are oh, able to go out and get the roads yeah. cleared or taken care of. Right. Here, we've got, you know, our whole DPW <laughs> at this time of the year. They work 24-7, and they're the greatest guys and men and women that do that. They're always on our roads. It, they yeah. just work Truly really essential the workers yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Y'all have a yes. great appreciation and love for we those do. guys and women. We do. Absolutely. Till they plow in the bottom of my driveway and I can't get Oh, out. no. But, uh, <laughs> another topic for another day. Yeah. yeah. Another topic for another podcast. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Maybe on a Sweet Tea Trio podcast. Part but two. Part two. How we travel through the snow. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so the music, uh, all, all Hat, No Cattle, of course, is out now. But uh, leading up to that, you had some great songs, too. And uh, they were all yeah. written by you guys. And they were all, yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. And we wrote this whole record. Yeah. yeah. Now, the big question. Who's this Kid Rock guy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so uh -huh. when I saw that, and I, I think I saw an intro video of Kid Rock talking about you guys. Yeah. yeah. How freaking cool is that? He's Seriously. Cool we love him. Sometimes we yep. have to sit back and He's go. It's what? it's it's like, wait, we just we casually go over to Kid Rock's house or we casually oh, come go over on. to Kid Rock's studio. I mean, it's Do it's, you really? Yeah. Him and his How fiance. Cool is they're that? like family. They're though. family. Yeah, though. they're like family. So really? but he's Very been great, cool. not even just on the business side, but also yeah. just on a personal level. He really he looks out for us girls. Um, like if he nice. if any of us are dating a guy and he meets uh -oh. them, oh, he Lord. like will stand there and give them the stare down and like the look talk. at them very seriously <laughs> and have a talk with them. He gives them the He's, talk. What are your intentions? We call him Papa Rock for a reason. I get so, it. Oh, I yeah. love it. I love it. Bob how did dad. um how did you get involved? <laughs> how did you get involved with that working with Kid Rock? How did all that funny happen? story? Okay, so we got an email one day okay. from this guy named Bob Ritchie. Asking us if we wanted to go on a cruise called Ch Chillin' the Most, Kid Rock's Chillin' the Most cruise. Right. And that he had seen us on YouTube. We wrote a theme song for a hunting company called Hunt is Good. Okay. Um, and he saw our video on YouTube and was just like, I got to get a hold of these girls. Well, we got this email and we were like, 
Who's this guy? This is no way. <laughs> Fake not news. Real. Fake Damn. news. Yeah, we're getting punked. Um, and so he sent a follow up email. Follow up email to basically say me again in in it's very real. polite, eloquent words. Yo, I'm Kid Rock, and this is real. So like, answer me back. <laughs> you girls are really talented. Come on my cruise. And we were just like, whoa. And so. We went on the cruise and we met him and mm -hmm. kind of shortly after that, we met up with him in Nashville and it was like, I want to manage you girls. And it was like, whoa, okay, here we go. And He's it's always ever since then. Like he wants to give an artist the opportunity to be able to make it in the industry that he has been in for yeah. so long. I mean, he's obviously watched many different genres evolve. Oh, yeah. Um, and so he's, he's just been great to work with. My favorite story about that first cruise is we play seven bridges road in our set. We sing that song. Oh, very. And cool. it's, it's probably our best harmony song. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And we had already sang it that night. And he comes walking in our show, and we're like, Seven Bridges Road, again, no. <laughs> again, do it again, do it. So we sang that song twice, and um, now it is his favorite song. He mm -hmm. always wants us to sing Seven Bridges Road. So it's a really it's a really great compliment when you have an artist like that who sees a lot of talent as well and has been mm -hmm. around it for a long mm -hmm. time. Absolutely. Who, who wants us to play our music and produce our music. It's crazy. Was, were you guys? Rock probably doesn't like want the world to know but he is he's is very much a giver and he gives back to sweet no, so I many people and so many things and why you we know. call him papa rock yeah yeah in my, many ways my uh, funny story is that my boss here is a huge kid rock oh, fan. Really? Not, not Craig, but my the station manager Aww. sam and uh the country radio <laughs> seminar have you been to the country radio seminar no, no we're going right. this year though it's in march, you're going way, it's in march I have a bar stool with my name on it. So down at Bar Lines in the Omni. So you're welcome to come down and oh my gosh, uh, can you please come hang out? <laughs> but no, we'll definitely do that. But uh, Kid Rock was at CRS last year and uh, we were sitting upstairs the top the, the escalator. It was in the Omni Hotel and uh, the top of the escalators. There was just like a lounge area and we were sitting there and Kid Rock uh, came up, you know, and he was heading. They did a ping pong championship type of thing. Kid Rock we got was invited in to this. Remember? Yeah, we did. I remember you? this now. The oh, memories yeah. are flooding in. We got yes, invited. Yes, now they're this. coming back. Well, Kid Rock walked by and I go, Sam, it's Kid Rock. He was <laughs> off that couch faster than you can imagine. Now, here's a grown man running down oh, the, no. the hallway with his phone out going, you know, can I get a pick? Can I get a pick? And I'm just like sinking down in my chair. This is not what we cringe, do. Cringe, cringe, cringe. <laughs> not yeah. what we do. This is not. No, what no, we no, it's not. You know, he did. He got Good. it. And it's in his office. He got oh. it. And he's going to kill me for telling you later. Hey, no, but okay. I'm just saying. Listen, he, we're talking about fans of certain no. people, too. Yeah. I if mean. Stevie Nicks passed by me yeah. and I had a chance to be like Stevie. I love you. Can I please take a picture with you? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I bring Patsy Klein back no, from the dead, right? No, yeah. No, think about it. Is there somebody that that you would? I mean, I've been doing this a long time on the radio side, and you know, it it it, it gets to the point where you're doing your job. I'm doing my job, so to speak. I respect you for what you do, and I know you guys mm -hmm. respect me for what I. Okay, this is cool. How are you? See you later. Go do your thing. You know, um, but there's Reba was mine. Oh, and Reba. to this day, I know Reba was at CRS last year when she walked out on that Ryman stage. I just went, uh oh. That's, I didn't know that's what the to woman. say. How that's to the act. lady. Yeah. And uh, my, she was one of my very first meet and greets many, many, many years ago oh, wow. uh, at our state fair. And the station had got me a, well, they got me the backstage. Yeah. So I got to go backstage. I was like scared to death. Didn't know what to the, say. Like, highlights of your life. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. It's something that I'll take with me, you know, and I'll, I'll never, ever forget it because she's like, how are you? And I go, I'm good. And I said, uh, I can still remember this because I have yellow labs. Mm -hmm. dogs. Aww, I go, I, I named my yellow lab after you. Oh. And then I go, I don't know how that sounded. <laughs> because... Aww. Am I, you know, I'm just, I, yeah. I said, don't bother opening the door. I'll go under it when I leave. Yeah. Right. So it's yeah. like. Where's my rock to crawl under? <laughs> exactly. But that's something I will never, ever, ever yeah. forget. And, and, and I love my job because I get to make great, mm -hmm. meet great people like you, great artists, very yeah. talented. Um, mm -hmm. Just you guys as individual, uh, you, you're doing your own thing. And, uh, you know, I just love it. I love it. If someone came up to me 
and said I named my dog after you. I would you be very honored. I would literally cry. Be like, I would be like, man's best friend. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd be falling yeah. apart. So I'm sure Reba was honored. Sue Ann. My dog's name is Dolly Barkin. <laughs> Dolly, Dolly Barkin. 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 I oh, love yeah. it. What kind of dog do you have? She's a toy poodle. She barks. Oh, little she, thing, Dolly. Yip, 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 yes, yip, she yip. yips. Oh, yeah. The name bark. holds true. Yes. Do you guys have a dog? Uh, so I do not. My okay. boyfriend has a dog named Willie, though. And really? Willie. Okay. Yeah. He's, a, he's a dorky. So he's a dachshund mixed with a okay. Yorkie. And yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it looks like like you look at him and you're like, yeah, that name fits. It's Willie. It mm -hmm. works. What about you? I Okay, my parents have two dogs and they're my babies, Gibson and Stella. They're both named after guitar brands. But mm -hmm. I am the cat lady. She is. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm the cat Kate and I are both allergic to cats. I have cat so, babies. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work out I'm for sure. Her. I'm allergic. You know, I, you have a cat that's fine. I'm just not a cat. Guy. We tell mm -hmm. V one day we can have one on the road if it's one of those absolute, like, hairless, hairless cats. Yeah, it would have to be hairless. Stinks. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, my you cat Boudreaux my dog has sheds, Boudreaux so I can just tell rat. you, we're we're vacuuming every day in our house or every other day. And if you don't like the dog hair when you come over, too bad. Yeah. Uh, we're kind of like that. I grew up with all labs, all yeah. big dogs and yep. coon dogs yep. as well, because my dad hunts coons, mm -hmm. and so it's um there's all of the dog hair and it's one of those things where it's like i love that kate's dog is a toy poodle mm -hmm. and so like i love the whole hypoallergenic dog thing because i'm also allergic to dogs i just uh, pretend i kind of ignore that allergy more than i do the cat allergy you know yeah. you gotta pick your battles i ignore my cat allergy a lot more i'm just like <laughs> i love she walks my around babies, like with my eyes are you like, all right it looks like you're crying right yeah it's like no i just i love my cats and i can't abandon them yeah. and i'm just gonna suffer for it <laughs> that's okay oh wow i had a cat for 17 years wow. oh my god kitty kitty <laughs> Remain. I love that Kitty. Is a Rest long in peace. Life. Happy Kitty. It's the best story of how I got. Her. Oh, I'm so I was sorry. like five or six years old, and I played softball growing up. Mm -hmm. And this we were um, we were warming up for the softball game that we were about to play, and my friend threw the ball, and I forgot one very important step, which is put the glove in front of your face. <laughs> um, so I've got my two front teeth knocked out right before a game, and my oh, parents no. told me. It was actually my dad. If my mother had nothing to do with this, she would not have made this deal. But my dad said, <laughs> if you will go out on the field and play this game, you can have whatever you want. And I said, can I have a cat? And he said, yes, you can have a cat. I said, can I have a cat inside? <laughs> inside? And he agreed to it, and I played the rest of the game. Or all yeah, of the game. Cats, and I then mean, you got kitty. I was going to say, the cats take care of themselves. Yeah, I mean, you really only did. have to do a few things. You yeah. know. It was a darling. She yeah. was a darling. I 17 years. Wow. What was the kitty's name? Kitty. kitty. Oh, I was seven. Kitty. I mean, kitty. I was like six or seven years kitty. old, yeah. and I just, she was a black kitty. cat, and I was like, kitty. 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 Obviously. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Never came up with a name for her, so kitty it was. We have Miley. That's the dog oh, now. No, I do love Miley Cyrus. That's why it's named, Ma yeah. Zach named, named the dog Miley for Miley, Miley Cyrus. Cyrus. So if I ever meet Miley, I'm going to have to go and name my dog after her. I feel like so, now I'll um, never name pets after anything other than like, iconic important thing yeah no that's like yeah. a bottle of beer my, like a like a you know labat or well, my brother um, named his dog that he got in high school hagen, hagen. after copenhagen <laughs> sweet hagen. no and hagen. he bought his girlfriend See? a chihuahua and they named that dog cope so we had a teacup chihuahua named cope and oh, then hagen and then we had the in hagen part and I hagen was a lab that was massive Huge. she was a chunky girl these are my dogs copenhagen it was copenhagen, copenhagen. yep very smart very, Very smart. Yeah, yes. No. Yeah. Exactly. Brother, man. Exactly. We're spilling the tea with sweet. We are. I know you are. And uh, talking about that, you ladies. Uh, you know, we do this like as a. It's kind of an informal podcast here. Yeah. Set up. You know, we're in the radio station, but you guys should really. You guys should do your own podcast. You should make fun. this happen. You convinced yeah, us. Yeah, you really have. I mean, convinced us. And I'd be there to help you along the way if you need oh, help or please. or you know we if it's okay with kid. It. I'm just saying. Yeah. Hey, it's I'm all right with Bob. I'm telling you, like. Right. Well, and we have had several, like, a bunch of people lately, like, even, like, just radio stations we go into say, mm. you guys need a podcast. And every time we're just like, we should. People keep saying that, but I think today is the day, the day. Today is that the day we, we were convinced to do it. So, thank you for convincing well, us. I'm done. glad. I'm glad. I think it would go over big, and especially doing what you're doing. And getting yeah. out there and you want to get you know it's one fan at a time doesn't matter how you do it it's one fan yeah. at a time yeah. 
and eventually it all grows yeah. and uh, podcasts would definitely help that out so yeah. well that's where no 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 that's I cool i love podcasts i listen to podcasts yeah. all the time especially when we're on the road like the three yeah. of us were around music so much that Sometimes when, you don't want to hear it. Yeah, when we're <laughs> off like stage, we like to so, listen to. I know other this. Uh, uh, you this know this certain, really good podcast. Uh, Great podcast. podcast. I listen to. Um, Skip happens. Is that the name of it? Uh, mm-hmm. Skip happens. You know. We'll be following. Skip 100%. happens. Are you on like Apple? So podcast? whatever. Yeah, I'm on Apple. But, but I have the YouTube channel. As oh, okay. Well. And uh, if you want to watch, you know. I, yes. All right, I'm going to throw it like Martina. Yeah. Laney, oh. just had Laney on there. I've had um, L King on there just last week. I had, uh, oh my God, I can keep going and going. Martina, Martina, Martina is my Martina, idol Martina was on. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. That's, hero. Yeah. That's my hero of all time. We're speaking of heroes. Yeah, I, I was able to meet her and <sighs> met my hero. Oh no, no, I've met her a she few times. She was just amazing. Oh, so kind. Know. Yeah, okay. half of but mine the, are. But you know what? They're legends. They are. That's right. True. So you guys are all dead. Who are you talking? You talking about Patsy? I was about to say, let's go Hank. through them. Yeah, Hank. our the three of our music influences are very different. Let's talk about and it. And I yeah, always, I yeah, I, I always going. joke <laughs> and say, and my parents probably don't appreciate this very much, but I have three dead grandparents, and I would choose Patsy Cline or Hank Williams over them to bring them back from the dead. Sorry, mom, <laughs> don't be offended. Granny is still with us. I would probably, I would. Granny's the bomb. Be offended. Granny's the bomb. But like. I would bring them back before I bring my grandparents. Like my grandparents were like a huge part of my life. I love them so much. Country music. But it's it's your soul. It is. And it's so many other people's souls. And think, I mean, Patsy Klein, man, she did not get to live long enough. Neither did Hank. Yeah. Hank really laid the foundation for so much of writing and if you could only bring someone back for a day. Yeah. Obviously, you would want to bring somebody back. That oh, no, I'm talking about for like a long period of time, oh. not for a day. Oh, well, still. <laughs> she wants, she still. wants it all. I want it all. I'm here to stay. <laughs> all back. I understand yeah, the concept I mean, fully. I grew yeah. up with all of the old school classic country music, like back to the 1930s. Was 20s. it why was it playing in the truck all the time? Did you have it, it on was. at home? Uh, and from the ball field, yeah, my daddy. Yeah, yeah, loved, yeah, we had, yeah. you know, CDs were a huge Abs- thing. Absolutely. So absolutely. we listened to all of the CDs. And on Saturday nights, our local radio station in Montgomery, Alabama would play mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Saturday Night Legends. And it was all classic country music. That was a great jingle, by the way. Thank you. I've good. only heard it all of my life. Um, but yeah i mean it just kind of really imprinted that into me when i was a kid i had a lot of like stomach issues and i screamed and cried all the time and the only way my parents would get me to stop crying as an infant Mm -hmm. was to play music or for my daddy Mm -hmm. to sing Mm -hmm. to me Mm -hmm. except for your cheating heart with hank williams and i have really been on another level of connection with hank williams since about six weeks old Mm. wow wow He's well, my he's well, in Montgomery, my, Montgomery. Yeah, I mean, it helps that I'm from. Yeah, no, he's exactly. Not from it, and but, because right. I mean, you grew up on it, and I don't know if your mom did this, but I know with my wife when she was pregnant for my son, she would always play music. Yeah, close, and she would actually play music close to her. Oh, to her I hear belly. It. And she or like he knew my voice because when I was on the air, she and I was on, you know, she she would take the radio or stand in front of the radio. So Zach oh, makes me want to cry. Yeah, they I say mean, that it precious. helps calm a lot of babies mm-hmm. down. After like, I, if you do that while you're pregnant, yeah. by the time they come out, it helps. I wouldn't know. I haven't you're trained. Yet, more, it's like it, people look at you me. Train, the you train them up while they're still in the belly, and then you yeah. get them out, and they're crying. It's like here, listen to the song you've always listened to. So I remember me. Yeah, here's some <laughs> Hank, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> Hank for that. Yeah. My parents always joke that the reason I have any like musical ability at all is because they did that. They really did. My yeah. mom would lay down on the floor. Mm-hmm. My dad would put speakers. There you go. Sides of her belly. Yep. And they yep. would That's play so cute. Journey. Yep. My dad yep. loved to play some Journey for me in the womb and even out. We. We've listened to a lot so, of journey. See, th- yeah, yeah, exactly. But that's why they they're like, yeah, all the music comes from that. My <laughs> wife was doing that with Zach. Yeah. I was on the air playing the music and my voice and stuff like that. That she would put the speakers right by your belly. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Kate, tell us about your musical influences. That's a great train. Other than Journey. I know. I um, like this. Definitely I've already said Martina McBride. Yeah. Martina. My favorite for Broken sure. Wing. Oh. Kate is a oh. lady of the nineties. I'm a yeah, I'm a girl of the nineties. <laughs> okay. I loved um like Women of the 90s, specifically in country. So Martina, obviously, Faith Hill, Trisha Yearwood, um, just the classics. Jody. Yeah, Jody mm, Messina. Jody. So good. All the, all the women. And then I grew up listening to a lot of country in my mom's car, but in my dad's car, we were listening to a lot of like 
rock. So mostly mm-hmm. Journey and Bon Jovi were the two CDs that would come in and out um, all the time of the CD player. So I grew up with interesting influences between my parents, but 90s, 90s women are my thing. See? So, and that's I met Martina cool. and that that was it for me. And we opened that's, for Bon Jovi. So yeah, that's we've also opened for yeah, Bon Jovi. Ask you, but I saw that in the yeah, uh, My in the idols, bio. we're just checking them off. Yeah. I wish we could do that with mine. I know. I yeah. know. I have Soon. to die first. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> Whoa! I shouldn't say that. Yes. No, 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 no. Maybe no. soon. Victoria no, 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 don't mean it that way. Our rocker girl, though, her influence. Yeah. Yeah. Are... Tell us. My soul is rock and roll for sure. It's it's the first thing. You look like a rock chick. Thank you. you do. Thank you. That you is do. the biggest compliment I could ever get. It's funny that I'm in a country band because country kind of came secondary for me. Um, but I would say like some of my biggest influences are like Ann and Nancy Wilson from Heart. Heart. Um, Stevie. I Stevie Nicks all day. Fleetwood Mac is my favorite band of all time. Um, songwriting wise, I aspire to be the female Tom Petty. I mean, oh my! God. I mean, who doesn't? So yeah, who doesn't? To be Tom Petty who doesn't right? want to do that. Um, he's an absolute genius. I love like Led Zeppelin, Bad Company. Um, I really, really love like the band. And getting into like that world, like Leonard Skinner also, yeah, but yeah. just yeah. um uh Leon Bridges, like a lot of just like vast, yeah. you know, big different kinds of genres all over the place. And then I love Outlaw Country. Outlaw Country is mm-hmm, like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that was when I got into country music, was like, what is this? And you I figured out it could be pretty close to rock. Good God. <laughs> yeah. It was just like, and what is, is this? Very close. Hank Jr. Oh yeah. wow. Let me put this CD in my dad's truck and listen to it. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is amazing. Let me listen to Merle Haggard, Glenn Campbell. Like, you know, and then it just country I discovered all sorts of stuff from there. But yeah, I'm definitely the rock. See, I how to get a hold of Skinner. Mm. He knows because, Ricky Medlock yeah, because exactly. um, Stacy. You guys would be a perfect fit to open up for them. Yeah, his background singer Stacy, who is a die. bad I mama jam. Well. Really die. That, <laughs> that, would be it for that me. was my first concert I ever saw. Do you, yeah. like, <laughs> so, do, do you when you get noticed that you are going to open up for one of these acts? Do you it's get like cool. oh my oh, god? It's always or, weird. Or, or, it's always strange. It's it, always. Do you get bad. nervous? Um, or do you, you know, I feel like it more so also depends on the venue. So like mm. when we opened for Bon Jovi, we didn't know this, but my dad sent in a video of us singing as like, uh, we they were, we did it. they were hosting a contest to pick an opener for Bon Jovi. Mm-hmm. My mm-hmm. dad sent in a video of us and didn't tell any of us. So didn't one day get I get, out. I was in high school. I get home from school and I get a phone call this lady she goes hey this is so and so with live nation i just wanted to let you know that your band's been selected to open up for bon jovi at the bjcc arena i'm sorry (laughs) and we said what "What?" (laughs) i was an answer i was like are you kidding me so So that like playing an arena that night was our first night playing an arena and to open up for a legendary act and play an arena of that caliber that night was and wild. let that be your first time playing guitar on stage. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. And we I didn't even have a guitar first player. time playing guitar on stage. Mm-hmm. I, ha- I have a question for the producer. You don't have, but is that Pepsi bottle in the way of that camera? <laughs> oh. Is the Pepsi bottle in the shot? Not now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Was, how bad was it? <laughs> and that's okay. I just haven't looked down there, but that's okay. It's part. Like, we're sponsored by Pepsi tonight, by yeah. Pepsi. Um, and, and not Duncan. really, but really. Um, and Duncan, you're right. Appreciate no, it's all thoughts. good. Yeah, <laughs> that's all good. So, anyways, so w- where do we go from here, though? You've got the you've got the EP out. You got the single release yeah. to radio. And uh, where does Sweet Tea uh, Trio go from here? Play, yeah, play yeah. as many shows as we can. Meet as many people as we can. Um, you know, right now we're on radio tour, so we're getting to literally go all over the country and talk about ourselves and our music and our life. Meet know? amazing people like you. Yes. Well, I don't know about Eat that. Local but, uh, hometown been... pizza. Yes. You know, I, it's only pizza. because they put the pizza on the No table. radio mm-hmm. station has treated us to pizza yet. No. no not pizza. Well, not girls, pizza. You, when I, we texted and we uh, text, you said, yes. we're in a snowstorm. We're going to be late. I you're said, probably laughing at me because you're like, this is not a snowstorm. Because it was... No, well, yeah, <laughs> kind of. But gonna, yeah. <laughs> as I looked outside and went, it's oh, not no. doing anything RJ here. called me and he was like, are y'all okay? <laughs> and we, we were, were like, like no. We're out a little bit, to be honest. <laughs> um, I, I lost my train of thought. But um, I call and, and you, 
I said, have you guys eaten yet? Yes, because did. it was dinner time mm -hmm. and you're on the road and you're in a hurry to get here. I know that if that was me, not we're not stopping to so eat. We need to get you. where we need to go. Thank so you. I said, I'm just going to order a couple pizzas. It wasn't, yeah, you know, I appreciate that, but I know you do. That's why we're going to start so wrapping kind. it up Thank here a little bit. So much we've been very blessed us because we've, having us. We've, we've met a lot of people yeah. on the road in this yeah. time a lot of being on radio tour. A lot of you for having you, us today. Uh, I don't know. About we that. mean it. Yeah, we're super well, excited just about not only our music and our single, but to be able to go places. It's it's a blessing this career that we've chosen because it takes us a lot of amazing places, and um, we're excited for the future. We're working on writing a lot. We're getting ready to have some downtime mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. January and February, so yeah. that's going to be our time to really dig in together and write. Maybe start our podcast. Maybe. I'll and then we'll hit the road in the summer. So we're hoping to maybe be on a tour next year. That's probably our biggest goal right now. If your podcast people get a hold of my podcast okay. people, then we'll make it out. Hey, if we're at, oh, yeah. at, at the radio convention, we're just going yeah, to have to CRS. 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 We'll definitely do it, you know, because I bring everything with me. We'll definitely mm -hmm. get together and yeah. we'll do yeah, something. you can come to our house. We're like, yeah. 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 Like, Jack in the out. cupboard. Mm -hmm. Set we'll up show you Nashville's quiet. best pizza. <laughs> yeah, we'll actually, no, we'll give you some Else, we'll not give you pizza. spiked sweet tea. That's what we uh, got. I'm all good with that. I'm all good with that. <laughs> yeah. so, what? All right, let me throw this at you. What do you think north of the throughway means? I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, we didn't. I've never heard of a throughway until the GPS announced a it on the way here. A throughway. Throughway. So, not a freeway. A now, throughway. This is only because it's snowing. All right. Okay. So when the weather guy comes on here in town, they say north of the throughway. And the throughway goes right through central New York. It runs from Buffalo to Syracuse. But it is uh, an interstate. Albany. It's an interstate. Okay. okay. It's, it's Route 90, but we call it the New York State Thruway. Okay. And they say north of the throughway. That's where all the snow usually is. So oh. they say north of the throughway. So okay. they kind of, that's what they use. Yeah. The GPS said for us to get on the throughway. And my mom, I'm, she's like, I've never heard of that. I'm assuming it's kind of like a freeway. Yeah. Or maybe an interstate, but so, I have never heard of a throughway. Well, in my. They call it in Alabama. Interstates. interstates the highway 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 is a different thing from the interstate yeah it, but why still is the highway different well from no the it's kind of like interstate 65 highway 31 it's kind of like in the south no direction so interstates are like two to four or like four to eight lanes yeah okay all right so and highways yes, are right. generally main yeah. Two. Interstate. yeah 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 okay okay good point. okay, okay, okay good, point. good point highways are like your back road generally two okay you're two laners, uh, okay. You're two laners. all right I'm just country, and I say highway. What's that? State to state. Uh, yeah, interstate oh, yeah, is state yeah, to state. Yeah, that's okay. right. I that's should a, have known that. Fair yeah. point, and yeah. yeah, that's right. That's that right. A lot more. Sense. And here in New York State, I don't know if it is everywhere in the country, but like odd numbers go north and south, and even numbers go east and west. Okay, let me ask you a question. Uh -oh. Do you say Ewins? Ewin? Ewins? What do you Ewins? say for a plural group of people? Or a plural group of people? Just a group of people. I never say Ewans. Okay. We'd never heard that until we today. never heard it until today. Pennsylvania. We're getting Whoa. cultured. We yeah, I just say, hey. You yeah, guys? You all uh, sometimes or all of you. I mean, no, Ewans? Never Ewans? heard of it. I'd never heard of it. I've you ever say y'all? Or you guys? I do once in a while. We say y'all. Yeah. Or all y'all. Yeah, that's that's the way, you know, being from where you're from. I mean, that, there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Yeah. Y'all going to come over tonight? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's right. yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. What about lake effect? Now, have you, you this is the first time you've heard the word? Yeah, yes. never yeah. did not know that was a thing. No. Yeah, lake effect. That's like two words that if you that's how you know whether or not you live in this area. You need you, you know what lake effect is and that's what's happening today. Now we are cultured. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't wait we to now go know. outside and see how much snow. more snow have is on you? the truck. Yeah. All right. So this spot we are in Syracuse, New York. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of salt potatoes? I'm sorry, what? Is salt. that a place? Not a thing? Salt Wait, potatoes. Wait, I want us to all go around and say what each of us think a salt potato is. I think it's a potato that you cure in salt that it, because that's a thing. You can like cook a potato in Syracuse salt. Syracuse is known as the salt city. I'm going to really? say. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> my first thought was something in relation to getting the snow off of the ground. <laughs> Like, salt. Like, we, throw, yeah, we throw salted <laughs> potatoes out in the driveway. Actually, <laughs> see to me, no. a salt potato. To me, it makes me think of like when my mom cooks baked potatoes, 
she'll cover them in olive oil yeah, and then sea salt, sea salt and salt the heck out of them. That's, like that's for, so actually, much to where close. it's like a crust. Okay. Okay. It's, it's the small, pot it? the small potatoes, the baby potatoes. Yes. The baby potatoes. Which is the ones I had in my brain. Yes. And they're no, salted. You, have a big you put the salt, whatever you boil them and you eat them with butter and they're salt potatoes and they're very, very good. Okay. So like before we make our, Potato, uh, salad. potato salad. Well, you're not going to use these for eating. potato salad. I mean, you eat just the potatoes. No, yes, but like you, we you put cut them, them in, up you and put bowl them in a small them. cup. You'll get three or four potatoes in a little dish, mm -hmm. and, and there's bought butter, melted and butter, and salt. I will say, I'm a Cajun girl at heart, yeah. and yeah. so when we have crawfish boils or shrimp boils, we'll boil the potatoes in the crawfish water yeah. and Which shrimp is... water. We'll take them out and just eat them with butter. Very similar. Very similar. Very okay. similar. Yes. We just yes. Call it a As all the yes. crawfish. Oh. Yep. Mm. Getting cold. A lot more than just salt. Yeah. <laughs> getting close. I'm, I'm liking already... these phrases. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, do you know how to steer into the skid and tap the brakes? One more time. I do know how you tap brakes. And you, around here, we learn how to do that because of the roads. You learn For how us, to the steer skid is like. You I'm steer like into skid. the skid. Yeah. You start to slide on the snow-covered roads, and probably if there's mud, even or hydroplane. You trying to not hydroplane? Yeah, but you steer into the skid. Yeah. Right. And tap into... the brakes. Yeah. Because, ladies, if you just put your if foot you on the slam, brake, you're just gonna slide. You're gonna, you're gonna just end up in the ditch. That's not where we want to be. So around here, they teach you how to tap. You know, steer into <laughs> the skid and tap the brakes. That's Mom, how I learned remember. to not fly on ice. Remember that. <laughs> Well, we didn't really, we have no experience with driving on ice. Like, I can tell you all about how not to hydroplane. Exactly. And, like, how not to worry about yeah. that when you're in the middle of flooding. Yeah. But, like, uh, plenty of times. But as far as, like, when it comes to driving and, that, like, that snow and there. ice oh. and all of that, like, it's always one of those things where, like, we have to, like, it, it's wintertime and we have, the like, one day of the year where it's, like, you have to be so serious when you're mm -hmm. driving. Yeah. Because <laughs> of, <the, laughs> of the ice. And you're just, yeah. like. White knuckled down, man. That's the problem. You need to relax, though. You need to just go easy. There was no relaxing in our no, car. There was not. Here. All of us were looking out the window. Yeah. Like, hey, Kate and I were in the back seat. I was looking over my mother's Nobody shoulder. Nobody was sleeping. No, Nobody was taking it. No in. sleep. Well, no I, sleep. I, I am the one to fall asleep in the car usually yeah. the quickest. Yeah. I could sleep in literally any position that you put me in. I think I was writing no. a song and then I looked up and we were like trying to do like a like a 17 point turn and i was like i'm gonna put my phone down um you need help a 17 point turn <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> i've done one trust me oh believe me yeah that you and the when you take your driver's test it's a three-point turn oh god and i failed right, that still do that yeah, they do. yes i got to redo too? that part yeah. of mine oh no i yeah. failed it nobody taught me a three-point turn so i we got to the point and he was like you're going to do a three-point turn right here in this cul-de-sac? And I looked at him and I said, I'm going to do a what? He said, you do don't know what a three-point turn is and you're taking your driver's back. test. And I said, well, can I try and guess what it is? And y'all, it was like a, I butchered it. It was I a mean, it was a full point point massacre. Turn is kind of self-explanatory. It was a massacre. Four minutes later, she's yeah. still... Like, I remember getting done, and I kind of looked over at him, and he looked at me, and he kind of shook his head and started writing stuff down. And I was like, I'm going to fail my driver's test. I, I passed. I was, I was in the middle of it's my fine. driver's test, and they're like, do a three-point turn. So I did it and it wasn't that great. I kind of got off into the grass a little bit and she said, honey, why don't you try that one more time for me? I'm going to pretend that did not happen. Well, that was <laughs> so cool. At least you didn't get. Yeah, there That's you go. That's why you get your license in Lowndes County where I live. And how how you so get your permit. All right. Well, 16 you here. Permit. So, yeah. yeah okay. And you get your license. You get your license. Yeah. 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 Same here. Mm -hmm. But still, you got it. Sure. Aren't you on like probation for like no, a you're year? a free bird after you, you get your license. After you. You yeah. get a Somebody permit. Somebody over 18 has to ride with you or something? No? Yeah. Oh, see, we don't have that. I don't, law. I don't know. It's, it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. We should have know. laws like that. We yes, were actually we having this yeah. discussion this morning. Yeah, we were. Yeah. We should have um, more laws that well, are You guys set. have some pretty deep discussions. Yeah, we, yeah, do. we, do. we do. What else are we going to talk about on the road? <laughs> so how long is this radio tour going for? This well, one? this one goes until Friday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then Friday at like. Four, well, I guess technically Saturday at like four or five a.m. Yeah, drive all the way to back Louisiana. to Louisiana. Oh, we fly to Louisiana. We play a show and then we drive back to Nashville. Yep. Oh. And It'll then we get a week at home for Thanksgiving, yep. family and all of that. And then mm -hmm. like two days after Thanksgiving, we fly to Las Vegas, drive to California for some stuff, and mm -hmm. then do some stuff the NFR. Well, there might be snow. Though. There won't be snow there. Not in Cali. Yeah, no. no. We're only in the mountains. Yeah. Though, certain mountain mm -hmm. areas. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then after that, we'll get to go to more back in the South South Carolina, Florida, 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 Alabama, Georgia. And then it'll be Christmas. Yeah. Then it'll be Christmas. (laughs) And then we just get to chill. Yep. Good. You deserve it. I like a week. This, this is well yeah. worth it, though. Y'all get along it's, fine. It's Seriously, y- y'all oh, yeah. look yeah. like very you rewarding. got three different personalities, three different. Um, mm-hmm. If we butt heads, we handle it. Music. Yeah, we love each other. That's at the end of the day. That's we what it is. Out of each other, and then we're all good. It's mm-hmm. actually Everybody's quite funny fine. sometimes. No, I know. I'm just it is. I it's feel like funny. We should have one day just to really just get it out. We should rent some of those suits that you can pop up. <laughs> you know, you inflate with the air and yeah, just and you like just, run into like each other. Balls. When you, you fall over, suits, you can bounce like, right back up. I feel like the two of you would take a lot of anger out on me. You'd be like, Charity, <laughs> this is for that one broken. harsh thing you said. <laughs> Charity, get up against the wall. like, what do you mean? I didn't mean it like that. And they're going to be like, just slam. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to, uh, my filter does not work you guys are awesome thank you sweet tea trio uh look them up online of course uh, i imagine you, they can go to the website they can yeah. just google you anywhere uh, you get your music from uh socials tiktok uh we Instagram. Seem like the drink and trio because there's three of us gals so. keep an eye out for the podcast someday yes yeah, someday that, i'm telling you it's gonna be crazy i already know it's gonna have mercy yeah. already yeah. that it'll no, be i wild. think it's a great idea ladies I really do. Uh, I think thank you for idea. the thank encouragement. You for encouraging us. Yeah. Thank you for playing our So song. if it fails, you're going to be really pissed off. <laughs> hey, no, see, on a serious <laughs> note. I'm going to kick out of it if it fails, though. <laughs> right. On a serious note, though. Never coming back to Syracuse. Uh, we will. We will. And here's why. Because it's you have different experiences everywhere. You do. And not to say that it's rare to have such a like strong connection with somebody like mm-hmm. we have with mm-hmm. you and chemistry in a mm-hmm. setting mm-hmm. like this yeah. it is a it is a some it is a somewhat rare occurrence and so it is a blessing to get to have nights like these especially when you're tired you've mm-hmm. been on the road it's almost like you get a little taste of home yeah it's mm-hmm. that uh, really it's that so thank famili- you it's that feeling of like familiarity even though you've never met somebody yeah. like the moment you walk into the room it's like okay this is gonna oh. be good yep yeah <laughs> it's gonna be good yep. until you walk out and go thank god we're out of there no. Uh, no we're gonna walk out and be like can we come back in because the snow is really scary yeah for real <laughs> it's snowing yeah help me somebody yeah. help me Mom won't come out, won't get in the truck. <laughs> Mom's <laughs> done driving. Somebody needs to drive. But seriously, thank you for having no, us. It, this is a joy. It's It has been a joy. And thank you for taking the time. And, you know, I know you got a little a little ways to go tonight when we, you leave the studio here. And uh, just all your gifts and uh, just your personality. And it just I can just feel it between us right now. It's, 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 it's a love so We're family now. We're family. Yeah, we're family. You met me two hours ago, and here we are. We're yeah, family. stuck with us. You're going to have to do another you know, podcast with us. We should do one at CRS when you're in Nashville. That's we should do one. Yeah. We can. We yes. We'll hook it up. We'll make it work. Um, I have a great podcast partner. Her name is uh, Deb Lamphere. She is the president and founder of the Country Music Fan Club. As a matter of fact, it's streaming live on her Facebook right now as well. So um, the thing is, she didn't want to come down to the radio station because normally we do them all from my studio. Yeah, because it's snowing. (laughs) Is that why she didn't want to come? It's snowing and she didn't want to drive in the snow. Yeah, I understand. No, no, stop. (laughs) Y'all are like, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Do you understand? It's not a big deal. (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. It is a big deal. If you've never driven it in it before, it's a big deal. You need to yeah. be careful, be safe, and go slow, and always watch out for the other guy. Now I, now I sound like a dad. Now you do sound hey, like a dad. I appreciate I that, though. I know our daddies at home are like, no. good, talk some more sense into My them. My daddy <laughs> always says that. He always says, watch out for the other guy. Absolutely. And it's so true. It's so true. Y'all know that. Watch so. out for deer because we've heard it's the rut in New York. Yeah, well, so. I, we did it just real quick. I, I my midday girl, Marissa, and uh, myself, we had to go do a show for Cameron Marlowe the other night. Yeah, and uh, yeah. we were on our way back, and she goes, did you see the deer? Because she, she rode me. I go, Marissa, what are you talking about? She goes, the deer that just walked in front of you. <laughs> I go, walked in front oh, of you. I didn't see it, didn't and I was driving. It. <laughs> but in, she goes, no, it just walked Scary across moment. in front of you. I know exactly. It's, it's like, like, glad I didn't hit it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> but I, 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 wow. it was weird. It was weird. Wow. But I've never hit a deer and I don't ever want to hit a deer. Oh, yeah. I don't ever want to yeah. Not I know. Here. I know. I shouldn't have done that. Well, thank you, ladies. Sweet thank tea you. trio in the studio uh, here tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a Bye. good night. <laughs>